Alafia Aho Ase Namaste. And thank you for watching Shadow of Woes. Thanks to you, you requested for this video. And that gives content creators more ability and a lot of encouragement to be like, boom, there's somebody watching. I thank you. I'm not going to mention your name, but you know who you are. Today, you reached out to me through a comment of one of my Arula videos and it had a slideshow and you're like, can you go a little bit deeper on Arumila? My Ferefun Arula. So that encouragement, I was so busy today and I was like, you know what? This must be done because many people have to know the different Orisha. Many people have to know what they're getting into or understand, understand, even sometimes overstand what they have. My Ferefun Arumila. Yes, you commented and I appreciate you. Tomorrow is October 4th, 2024. Tomorrow is the day celebrated worldwide for Arula. Who is Arula? What is his function as an Orisha? What is his function as he is the ultimate oracle of a Lodumare? What is his function in your life? When you go to Ifa, Maferifun Ifa, and you receive your reading and your Odu, that never hits the floor. We're going to go in deeper. Not only does Orula have the greatest respect around the world, when Santeros, when people who are crowned, they have a sign that may come out in the Dilogun. Some say caracols in the cowrie shells that they have to go to Arula. They've already consulted with their guardian angel. Then that's rightfully so. They have to go to Arula. But who is Arula? Let's get into it. I'm making this video for you because my ass would have been done doing something else. <laughs> but I'm really, I'm thankful because I have to do this. And this will stay worldwide. I pray that all of you have a lafia tomorrow. And today and forevermore that you have blessing for you, 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 and you. Let's start with Arula. In Lukumi, most often you will hear the term Orula. And you will also hear Orumila, same energy. Not only is Orula the great and wise, wise Orisha, that he can see the future, he can see the past, and he can see the present. He can see your future. He will tell his sons who are Babalaos or Luos. When they throw that epole and they have to give you a reading in respect to Orumila and they tell you what's going to happen in the future, once the ethics are there, and there are many good ethical Babalaos that are really Babalaos, and we'll get into that. That sign that came out for you, that Odu that came out for you for Arumila, it needs to be done and respected. If you have what we call a Nebo, run and do it. Arula is not only the best friend for Eshu. So this is why oftentimes you will hear Baba Laos where they will bless their godchildren. Because once you receive a ceremony with Ifa, with a Baba Lao, that is, he is your, he is your godfather. Okay, and Oluo, he is your godfather. So Eshu not only has the powerful paths that open up the roads for a ruler, he will also bless you and guide you. He knows the very secrets from throughout the universe and the heavens, all the way to the middle and all the way to the end. A ruler even knows how we're going to pass away. A ruler even knows what we need to do to live a longer life. So let's get into it. Why do you see people wearing the bracelet of Arula? Sometimes, well, this bracelet has the marking of my guardian angel, who is a Chosi, right? Some have Chango, red and white. Some have El Gua, red and black. Some have Ogun, green and black. Sometimes they just have just a simple Arula bracelet, which is just as beautiful. These colors are also, they could be green and like a dark red. That's also the bracelet of Arumila, Maferifun Arumila. But now, why do we wear this? Not only did Orisha, Arumila, he escaped death. 
So anyone that wears these bracelets are told by Iku, you cannot touch this child. This is a rumorless child. We can't just put the bracelets on. Let's, let's get into that. If you just put the bracelet on, oh, let me put this on. I'll bless it with spirit. Um, no. If you are able to afford and receive your hands of Ifa, which we'll get into, and you know that you're able to save and do it, do it. We don't need to, when it comes to initiations, and especially to save your life and to receive a rumula, you can't be a cheapskate and say, you know what? Why does it cost so much? Well, they have other babalows that they have to pay. Then they have someone who is crowned in a pet to be. I'm in a pet to be, my fedefuna rumula. But in that case, that babalow has his wife or his goddaughters or, or somebody that has to help to mark your guardian angel. There's a whole line of santeros and there's also different preparation of different materials. It's for three whole days. So that's why it costs because it is your sacrifice and a ruler will see it. Even if your bracelet breaks, you get in touch with your babalao, your luo, who is a child of a rumula. And you say, you know what? My bracelet broke. What do I do? Now, if you're alone and you, you don't, you received a ruler and you are doing this by yourself, you already have the blessing of your ceremony. You already have your warriors and so forth. You're at you. The bracelet broke then you can consult and see what to do and why it broke because a ruler is the orisha who escaped death. How did that happen? When the coup came and knocked on a ruler's door, what do you think a ruler did? Hmm? He put cascaria all over his body and he tricked the coup. He couldn't even recognize who a ruler was. So those who are very sick, those who are needing a stability, that's when they go to Ifa, to the Babalao, to see what is going on. Let's go deeper into a ruler. Now, one out of a hundred, Talabi, may you rest in peace, Ibaye Layantunu, my padrino of Elegua, a local in Agayu, Ibaye Layantunu, my Ferefuno Batala said, and he was over 45 years crowned. One out of a hundred, or maybe now these days, because we need more soldiers, we need more Baba Laos. One out of 50, I'm saying, he said one out of a hundred are children of a Rumula. Not everybody is. There's certain signs that come out when a man gets crowned. And we're going to go in deeper. And doesn't mean that he's closed. If his guardian angel closes him, then it means most likely he has to go to a ruler, but he needs to listen to what the Oba Oriate, the high priest, and sometimes there's Baba Lao sitting around. When I was crowned in Cuba, I had my Oba, I had my Padrino, I had my Yubon, and I had Baba Laos also sitting around in Santeros. So they'll tell you if it is in your path to go to be a Babalao or a Lua. Doesn't mean that because you are not made to be a Babalao that you're not powerful. Oh, heck yeah. There's Paletos, there's Tatas, there's, there's Santeros that are absolutely amazing. But when it marks this, that is a unique sign for you. Orula also represents in Catholic faith, St. Francis. And you can follow my description box. Please like, share, comment, and continue the algorithm of subscribing. I will explain all of that in the description box. So not only is he synchronized with St. Francis of the Catholic faith, a ruler, people often think, oh, oh, Baba Laos, they don't know anything. Oh, yeah, they got mad secrets. They got a lot of secrets too, just as powerful as other traditions of Palo Mayombe and so forth. The importance of a ruler and the importance of Ifa is knowing how did he become a ruler. Let's start again. How? How? Because a ruler was not meant to live at one particular point, Iboru, Iboya, Iboche, and that fell. That's confirmation. It was a legua that saved the life of a ruler because when he was buried, he was buried as Obatala, my Fedefun Obatala, gave instructions 
for all of the firstborn children of the land, they had to be killed. For you know, this please do not shade on our faith because this also happened in the book of Abraham and in the Old Testament. So when it happened, Etchu saw this cute little baby boy that was buried, and he didn't want to kill him. Some say Etchu, some say Elegua. I'm saying Etchu, and forgive me, I said Elegua. And he said, I'm not killing this cute little baby. I'm going to keep feeding him. And the weakness of the legs allows the strength of the mind. So my Fedefuna Romula, when he started to grow and he started to divine with power and became closer to Elodumade, he had the strength of all the secrets within the universe. Now you do have a choice. There's many people who have been crowned, and I know them personally. They haven't received Ifa. They, they went through Obariate, or some received Asuhano first, or some people received Orula. And that's it for them. They didn't get crowned. It's your choice. And it's also if it's told to you in the old tune. Now, going more so on Orumila, when we see a Babalao, when we see a Babalao, when we see Noluo, the proper way to greet them, respect earns respect though, but yes, is Iboru, Iboya, Ibo Cheche. Sometimes they say aboru, aboya, abo sheshe. And then they would say odabo and they would also say iboru and so forth. They lift you up. They usually we touch the floor. This is out of respect. My, my old school ways is a santera. I'm seeing a lot of things that I don't like. Because remember, that person, that energy of that babalao or that santera, especially... We're talking about Ifa right now. It should be respected. So if I'm going to a drumming or I, I see somebody and you know they're Baba Lao, doesn't matter if it's my padrino or not. It's Iboru Iboya Ibo Cheche. Now, if you keep saying it and they don't say nothing back, well, then you don't have to say it no more in my opinion because respect deserves respect. Like my godchildren, they say bendicion. Or if I know people that are... Uh, you know, younger in this faith, and uh, Yabo is coming here, she says, Bendicion, and he said, Bendicion, I say, Santo. It's a matter of respect. It's not anybody being better than anyone, but it's under understanding, understanding the status of their energy. We can't just pick this this energy of this beautiful bracelet as and, and put it on and say, okay, or say, I'm going to take care of a rule. I got a statue. This is a beautiful decoration. The statue is so you can understand or ruler lives in the secrets of these energies of wooden vessels. Now people are getting metal vessels. Oh, Lord. They're getting all kind of stuff. It's supposed to be a wooden vessel. Now, what do you have in your house? You just received your hand of Ifa. You are, for example, you're a man. You received your hand of Ifa. That means mano de orula. Hands of orula. You don't have orula in full. That happens when you go to, if it is governed for you to go to Ifa. If not, just stay there and be happy, right? Because it's not meant for it. It's either way. You don't have a rule in full, so it doesn't make you, with all due respect, a Babalao now. No. You have a hands of a ruler. I have a hands of a ruler as an pet to be. I'm not an Iyanifa. I am crowned to Chosi. My mother's Yemaya. I'm a pet to be of a ruler. Those who go to Africa and they, they become Ianifas is different. So what does all of this mean? When a woman goes to receive Orula, she receives what we call Kofa de Orula. You have the hands of a ruler. So how do you work with that? Those of you who don't have, uh, or you say you, you got abandoned and you don't have your, your godparent. I'm going to tell you simple, simple information and we're going to go deep. This is a long video. You have a ruler. What are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm putting two candles. I couldn't find one green and yellow as I live in little Cuba. So guess what? I got two green candles. If you could find a green and a yellow or you come from the house, sorry about that. If you come from the house of where they use dark red and green, well, do you, right? So I'm going to use what I found and what I have. Now, if you have two white candles, that is fine as well. 
What does a ruler have for those of you who have received your hands in a ruler? A ruler has, and he loves green bananas. He loves ground provisions. Not only does he have the blessing of the richness within the earth. Mm. The richness, that doesn't just mean money. That means your health. Your ache, are you a good person? Do you do you do things with 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 love for this faith? Do you have that ache of doing that? Continuing on, what does he love? Ground provisions from the earth, the riches, the minerals. This here, we call it yam. This is the white yam. He loves this. I will take this tomorrow. I will peel it, and I will grate it. And then I will boil it with a little bit of goat milk. Let it cool. I will give it to him. Or some of you can grate it or you can give it to him like this. In Africa, this also represents dowry, right? Another thing I've been doing for years and I absolutely love it. We call this, my family on my mom's side, we will call this cassava. Many of you may say yuca, okay? This here, you can feel free to cut it up, cook it for him, and so forth. Many of you know what fufu is, all right? Either you can make it from scratch, go on YouTube, look it up, or you mix this with water, and then what we do is we make little balls, like dumpling, and then we put it on a plate. We also have also two fruit. Arula loves fruit and different energies. It keeps your energy very, very fresh. So it's not so much in looking at a Babalao and saying, oh, that's a ruler. There's a child. He's a child of a ruler. He's, he works the hand of a ruler. He's sent and appointed by a ruler to give messages on this earth so that the mission of us reaching our very best following the 16 principles of a ruler. So not only does Iboru, Iboya, Iboshe represent the energy and the beauty of the Iyami, the three women. Some say Ochun, Yemaya, Oya. Some say that. But it also represents the principles and the energy that a ruler is walking with. So sometimes when you see a Santero, like somebody would tell me, oh, Iboru, Iboya, I'm like, no, you could say Bendicio and Alafia. I'm not a Babalao. You know, so, you know, it's, it's good to have a little joke about this. But tomorrow, what, what do I plan on doing? Because I was asked this. Not only do I plan on saying, okay, let me set it up and, and give him some light and respect and everything like this. Prayers, being humble, talking to Arumila. A lot of you know the secrets within. I can't say. It doesn't matter if what house you came from, if it's a Sheikh Sheikh house, Lukumi, your prayers to a ruler, taking the energy, putting in red palm oil, manteca de corojo, red palm oil, a little bit of that. Those of you like me who are pet de b, you take and you talk to a ruler. A ruler, I'm asking you for help this and that. Thank you for the year. Thank you because a ruler has, he saves many lives. He also prevents people from having an untimely death because when you have this bracelet on and once you are an initiate and you have received your hand in Ifa. He will protect you and he will guide you. Those of you who don't have a ruler, don't please try if you can to save or you can recognize and say prayers to St. Francis. It's St. Francis. The last name is A-S-S-I-S-I. -S -S -I. Something like that. I'll put it in the description. Let's be respectful. So, for example, in blessings to my godson, he is of Hindu faith. I would say in blessings to Mother Durga and blessings to Navarti, but I'm not initiated Hindu, so I respect that. There's not going to be any energy just coming out and putting this on. It has to be through initiation, and it cannot be someone who just has their warriors and then they have the hand of Ifa and they say they're Babalawa, Yanifa. So, going, moving right along. Not only did a ruler escape death, now here was your next question that many have asked me. Do you have to have the hand of Ifa before going into Ocha to be crowned? Not everybody does. Not everybody did. So, for example, my my son, his godmother, Maferifun Agayu, 
and blessings to her continuum right now of her long life. Not only is she the sister of Cecilia Cruz and La Lupe within that lineage, she received Asohano before she got crowned because she said, you know what? I'm very sick. And I mentioned this, my Fedefunaga, you. And when she received Asohano, then she got she saw the faith of Orisha and she went in and she got crowned. Then later on, she received the ruler after she was crowned. But those of you who are going through sickness and blessings to you, those of you who have a really, really difficult time, let me tell you, I received a ruler before I got crowned. A ruler, I'm in testimony right now, has saved my life, has helped me in many, many problems. My Ferefuno de Mata. My Ferefun Orisha, my Ferefun Egun. But a ruler, my gosh, the powers within. If you can't receive anything else and you can't, God bless some of you, because I know it's not easy to go and get crowned. At least get your hand of E5. You're going through sickness and problems. A ruler also works the magic of what we call Palaudo. What is that? I could go on and on, but I don't want to bore you with going on and on. I was told not to make too long of videos because the algorithm is already 21 minutes. What is a palaudo when you got an evil spirit on you and something is really, really bad? A babalao in a luo, your padrino of Ifa, will throw the epaule and say, you know what? This marks that you have to do a palaudo. You have to do a breaking, a spiritual cleansing. You have to separate that nasty, wicked spirit from you. And they do a very good job of it. There are many that walk with Iwa Pele. Those of you who have been burnt, I don't know, Florida, we badass over here. I don't know what the people are doing around. But over here in Florida, in Cuba, in Africa, it's really beautiful. I'm going to speak for all of the tradition here in Florida because they're very strict. If you get a mark that you have to do a palau, don't then do it. Don't be like, oh, it's, it's so expensive. I got to... No, well, then let that spirit stay with you then. Why go get a reading? A ruler will remove and separate. And there's different ways of them doing it. And they will take that wicked spirit off of you or that demon or whatever you got going on. People always, Santeros, people that are crowned, do Ebo with a rumula. Now, one more thing. Let me see if I have it here. Yes, I do. One more thing is we often put a lot of the offerings in what we call hikaras in English. In my country, we say calabash. You know, I have written my name, Renee or Dewaro. Y'all call me Shadow too, because sometimes they get lost or whatever, and they're very precious to us. Not only does the calabash and the hikara neutralize poison, so that's why when Orishas come down through their children or crown, they, they use that to give it to them, but also to... It's a, it's a way of respect if you don't have a calabash or hikara, but you have a ruler, not the statue with all blessing. You have a ruler and the energy from the initiation in your house and your kings. You're going to, you can put his offering on a white plate or use what you have. What did I say earlier? I couldn't find a yellow candle. And that makes sense, right? Because we're going into fall. We're going into winter. And yellow is more of a color with all blessing of spring. And so I couldn't find it. So fine. A ruler knows my heart. If all you have is tea lights, give it to him. So the purpose of a ruler and the purpose of Ifa and Baba Laos is a way of also humbly living. When you say Iborui Boya Iboche, you're asking not only that Baba Lao for blessings and spiritual strength, you're also it's a reciprocated, so they should tell you the same thing back. It's a way of blessing and a way of asking for blessings. It's a spiritual energy. A ruler, once again, escaped Iku. So, Maferifun Arumula, the great oracle. And if you have questions or comments, please leave it. I, I refuse to edit videos. I refuse to change. So, you see, whatever I'm doing, this is me. This is Shadow. So, lots of love to you all. October 4th. Those of you who can get in touch with your godfather and go to your padrino's house, make sure, oftentimes, what are the offerings that you bring to their house? Two coconuts, ask first. Two coconuts are customary. Two candles, they could be white candles or green and yellow or, you know, two coconuts, two candles. 
and a derecho in an envelope. Not where, look, look how much I gave. Look at all this cash. That's not respectful. Put your direct, your derecho in a, in a, um, in a white envelope or a napkin, sorry, or a piece of tissue. Try to do that and give respect to a ruler. People don't have to know what you're giving unless your house requires a certain amount. So, Sometime it's 21, an open road or whatever they, whatever, or whatever you can give from your heart. A ruler is not only St. Francis, not only did he feed the birds and feed the world and take care of so many that were poor and sick. Many babalows out there are so beautiful and many allures. It doesn't mean those of you who are watching who got crowned or thinking about it, it doesn't mean you have to go to Ifa. You may have other powers that is just blessed that as a Santero, you may have other powers within you to, to be an Oba Oriete. The Santo room cannot run, an Orisha room cannot run without them anyway. So in blessings to all of you, I have to say again, my Fedefuno Rumula, and this video was for you who asked for it. In blessings, Ache.